So why it's so hard to find a JavaScript job, especially going forward? All this work I've done to learn JavaScript and it's so hard to get a job in JavaScript. Rod, what can I do to improve my chances of getting a job as a JavaScript developer? Well, I got a couple of options for you guys. I got three things we'll cover in this video to give you a general idea of what's going on and how you can move forward and position yourself as a more valued JavaScript developer and put you in position so that you can get the job that you want over the competition. And we're gonna go over this in detail. And uh, I got three things we're gonna cover today. And um, let's jump right into it. All right, guys, the number one reason it's so hard to find uh, JavaScript jobs and uh, work is because the actual framework maturity and the JavaScript peak. Because at the end of the day, it's not a technology peak, it's just a enterprise peak. The amount of value that JavaScript brings to an enterprise has peaked to the point to where the, the newest framework come out and from us developer standpoint, oh my God, this is great, this is new. But for enterprise, they don't need it. As long as their um, uh, UI is efficient and running as normal and performance is good and they can have all the tools do what they, they, they need, they're great. From their standpoint, you know, as long as they have a developer who has the knowledge to be able to do everything and integrate it in their business processes, they don't have the need to go out and seek the latest and greatest JavaScript frameworks to make sure that their system's updated. They they feel like that's in the background. My jo current JavaScript developers can do that. Just make sure everything's as efficient as possible. This is very important to know as a JavaScript developer because at the end of the day, when you're applying for those JavaScript jobs and you go to showcase your value and the only thing you can do is CSS and HTML and you're wondering why you're not getting the call back, this is the reason why. Um, we'll go into details about AI and templates and all that stuff later on in this video. I don't want to scare you too much at the beginning. Just want to kind of keep things positive at least at the beginning and kind of go from there. So. At the end of the day, guys, you got to be able to provide more value than just standard CSS, HTML, and JavaScript. I'm letting you know that now, uh, because at the end of the day, when you apply for these jobs, you're gonna find out the competition is stiff or is fierce, and you gotta stand out. What I want you guys to do, tell me about your experience. What's been your strategy to get that JavaScript job? Where you been looking at? How you been networking? What have you been doing to be able to find a JavaScript job. Put details in the description or the comment section so that we can have a conversation so that I can make sure we give you guys specific strategies that's gonna allow you to get that JavaScript job and put you in a position so that you can be a successful JavaScript developer. So let's have a comment or conversation. Number two guys, the competition is fierce. One of the favorite things developer likes to do is front end development. Why? Because it's fun. You actually see um, the end result of your work. It's pretty, it's on the front end. Everybody kind of see your work. That's very, very appealing for a lot of software developers, especially at the beginning. So the competition is fierce. Anytime you have more fierce competition, the more, the less opportunities you're gonna have and you gotta be able to provide more value initially to get those opportunities. Um, the SoundCloud rappers, the YouTubers, all of us, every every time you have a, I'm going to say, a job that can kind of be used as a hobby and people like, you're going to have fierce competition. How do you overcome this as a, as a JavaScript developer or an aspiring JavaScript developer who's trying to find a job and find work? Be able to provide more value um, that's going to help elevate you above the competition. A lot of developers or JavaScript developers are out there just doing HTML, CSS, just the basic stuff and think they're going to stand out just by, you know, having pretty colors, which depending on the client that may stand out from a styling perspective, but a lot of clients are enterprise specific. They know that, hey, they need to move the ball forward and get profits moving forward and growing. How do you do that? Well, you can see what projects, front end projects specifically, going to move that needle. Uh, information is key. Timely information is so, so, so much important. 
to be able to put, display information on that UI based off of what their needs are, what the sense of urgency is going to be key. And the visuals and the UI, you got to think of the UI more than just pretty colors and all that. You got to think of it from a workflow perspective. What can I put on the screen so that this particular end user can do their job faster and more efficiently? You start thinking that way, your value is going to increase. And you got projects that's going to allow you to do that. I can't go over all the projects in this video. We talk about these projects in my step number two of my seven step guide. Links below to that. It's a free guide that you guys can download or uh, download so that you can know what projects that's going to help you stand out. You can put this on your resume so that you can get those jobs. And if you already download my seven step guide, we also talk about this in detail in my 90 day developer course. That's going to allow you guys to stand out as JavaScript developers, be able to find those jobs and stand out from the competition and have those JavaScript projects that's going to allow you guys to be successful. Links below to both in the description box. So go grab that. And also go ahead and grab it while we got great rates so that you guys can get started and start to find that JavaScript called, that JavaScript job ASAP. Links below. Let's go ahead and click that. And the number three reason why you can't find job as a JavaScript developer is AI and templates. I know, I know, I know you guys do not want to hear AI and jobs. And it's a real thing, especially for the cookie cutter templates and just basic uh, boilerplate code and boilerplate templates. It's a thing and it's coming to get the front end jobs definitely quicker than all the other jobs out there. So you need to really value a uh, raise your value as a developer, uh, front end developer so that you can always have work. Um, the, the reality of the situation is that it's coming. The good news is there's ways to position yourself for success, even as a front end developer going forward. You just got to know how to leverage the AI tools in a way so that you can still be more efficient as a front end developer and still provide increased value beyond just the basic capabilities or the capabilities of AI and templates. That's what's going to help you stand out. If you are a front end developer and all you're doing is slinging boilerplate code, AI is going to eat you for lunch. I'm letting you know that now. You need to differentiate yourself, learn how to provide value, put yourself in a position to win. If not, you're never going to get a job. I'm letting you know that now because at the end of the day, we have to provide value. The client, that's all they want to know. What have you done for me lately? And if you went in 2025, 2026, 2027 going forward, slanging boilerplate HTML, JavaScript, CSS, you're not gonna make it long. Yeah, there's still some jobs out there. You still can make some money, especially from the legacy providers out there who refuse to upgrade their systems and they just want to do the basics, which again, that job's going to be out there. But the problem, like we're describing, there's only so much work that's out there like that. And the current front end developers is just taking all that work and there's nothing left for everybody else. So you have to find other ways to make money as a uh, front end developer. And we talk about this in our 90 day developer course in our free guide links below to all that. Go ahead and check that out, guys. I can't stress that enough. That's going to help you guys stand out, put yourself in a position so that you can take your career to the next level. If you're an unhappy developer or if you are a new developer or aspiring developer, get you that first programming job. Like, subscribe to the content. If you have additional questions, comment below and um, I'll see you guys in the next video.